Okay, I'm going to tell you a story about when I was a drum tech for uh, Jerry Shirley of Humble Pie. And if you don't know who Humble Pie is, you got to check out um, their live album, Rockin' the Fillmore. It's one of the best live rock albums ever recorded, in my opinion. Um, Peter Frampton was in the band, Steve Marriott. Um, <clears throat> killer band, and Peter Frampton later went solo after he left Humble Pie. But that's a whole other story. I'll probably do a video about that. But anyways... Um, back, I think around the late 80s or early 90s or so, um, the drummer for Humble Pie, uh, um, Jerry Shirley, moved to Cleveland. He was working at um, the radio station WNCX as a DJ, and he, he would do a really cool radio show and play play classic rock, to talk about really cool stories, you know, things that had happened in his career. And um, every Monday night, um, I think he would... Uh, he would, he would sit in with bands at a place called the, the Sahara Club, which is a really cool rock club. I'll probably do a video about, about that place. They had music seven nights a week. It was in, in Willoughby, Ohio. So you could go there any night of the week and, and see a live band, which was really cool. So he was there um, on a Monday night playing with a, a local band. And, and, I, and I happened to be there. And um, like they did about two songs or three songs. And, and all of a sudden... Uh, they said on the PA, you know, is there a drummer in the house? And uh, they had a, his uh, kick drum pedal broke. So um, I was in a band at the time that practiced right down the street from the, the Sahara Club. So I just walked up to the stage and started talking to him and, and said, hey, I'm in this band. We practice right down the street. I can run to, you know, where we practice and get my drummer's pedal. And he's like, yeah, man, great. So so I went and got the pedal, brought it back. And he was like, hey, hey man, thanks a lot. And he used that pedal for, for the rest of the gig. And then uh, when they took a break, he um, he thanked me again. He uh, uh, um, bought me a beer, which was pretty cool. And then he autographed the pedal. The pedal had a leather strap between the pedal and and, and the beater, so it was pretty cool. It was our the um, drummer in our band was was uh, Joe Bolito. Um, Joe, if you're watching this, hey. Um, and we had this really cool band. It was called called What's Up. And uh, I'm gonna probably put some video of that band on. Uh, on YouTube eventually. It was, it was a fun band. Um, really sounded, you know, you know, great in my opinion. <laughs> so anyways, so Jerry Shirley autographed the pedal um, for Joe and, and bought me a beer, which was really cool. So um, that was my uh, my night being a drum tech for, for Jerry Shirley of, of Humble Pie. So moral of the story is, is if you're at a, a club or a concert or a gig or anywhere and you see um, you know, and a band having trouble or something broke and you can help them out, you know, by all means, you know, offer to help out if you got gear or whatever, it can help in any way. Um, you might end up with a cool story and a free beer. So thanks for watching. Bye.